What's up, YouTube, man? Before I get into this gameplay, I want to show you guys my team, show you what I'm working with, and because I need some help, man. The Diamond program just dropped. I need to see who you guys think I should put on my team. I added a couple new players. Thinking about that new Steve Young, so let's take a look at my team. Here we go, man. I got still got Mahomes, um, 92 overall at quarterback. I have Tier 2 Sprinter, or Tier 3 Sprinter, so everybody's point uh, two points of speed more. Odell Beckham. Uh, Marvin Harrison, Torrey Holt. Uh, I use Marvin Harrison with the route cams, and I have doubled me on him. Um, I have Clint Portis. He's my new acquisition from the Diamond teams. Uh, he gets to 90 speed along with Saquon, Marcus Allen, who I use at tight end. If you want to learn how to do that, head over to MaddenTurf.com. Or you can check out my Twitch. Every Wednesday, I do sub streams, give you guys tips and little secrets, like using your running back at tight end. So head over to Twitch or head over to MaddenTurf. Um, George Kittle. Delaney Walker, don't really use these guys. Lane Johnson is my right tackle. Was pissed John Runyon was the Eagles legend because we already have a right tackle. Picked up Matt Burke as center. Think he's the best center in the game right now. And Jordan Gross, best left tackle in the game. I have um, identifier and secure pass blocker on Jordan Gross. So they both get great, great secure pass blockers on my tackles. But Jordan Gross lets me know where the user is. Defensive side of the ball, we're working with the hitman Ken Houston, Harrison Smith. Uh, Bobby Wagner, Ryan Shazier, um, Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Lawrence Taylor, Adrian Amos, uh, Jalen Ramsey, Gilmore, Charles Tillman, Patrick Peterson, Mel Blunt, Reggie White, Aaron Donald, Geno Atkins, LT, of course. Um, for defense, I use all my X-Factors on the D-line. I know you guys have been running into this. The sheds are crazy. That's why I use them there. And we'll see how it works out this game, man. But let me know where you guys think I can improve my team. Thinking about getting that new linebacker, the old guy, Lanier, for the Chiefs. Man, he looks like a monster. Also thinking about escape artist Steve Young. But let's see how this team works for me. Let's see how I play Shakobi. Going into this game, man, you know Shakobi is a runner. Uh, you know if you stop him from running, he's not going to be able to pass the ball, man. If you want to watch these games live, like I said earlier, check out twitch.tv slash dub dot. The link is below. If you're good enough to play for money, man, please check out Players Lounge. It is the easiest, safest, and best way to gamble real money online on Madden, man. And you don't have to be the best in the world. You don't have to gamble hundreds of dollars. You can get something cheap. You can play for five. You can play for three. You can play for ten or always up, all the way up to 500, I believe. So check that out below. This is the first drive against Jacoby. He is running the 146 defense. And much like myself, I tell you guys, he has all three X factors on the D line. So, got to watch out for that. Uh, that's pretty much a tactic from everybody nowadays. As we get to an early fourth down, I throw that underneath just to get half of that, make this fourth down possible, give him a threat of a run with the quarterback, and hit the dot over the middle to Kittle, who was at wide receiver right there. My players were so tired that Kittle came in a wide receiver. Here we go. He go, starts running a little bit match. You see some of these guys running this cover four palm stuff. But uh, for me, a lot of times you just run man-beating routes and it really kills it. But this is this drive, I just talked about that Matt Burke I got on my team. Man, he's getting his ass whooped again. Came right around the middle. Aaron Donald sacks me. Two plays were right. Fourth down, and I, I think everybody got shut at that play. Jesus. For some reason, Lawrence Taylor was one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one with the running back. And it got bad for me. So here we go with Jacoby. Early in the game, I just want to run around a little dollar. See if I can stop the run out of dollar as he hits this little dot over here to Torrey Holt. Uh, I don't know if you guys played against this uh, single back tight flex action. Um, it is one of the best offenses early in the year. Uh, and as you see a lot of people running it. And for me, I want to try to stop as Gilmore stops the corner out there in the cover three cloud, man. The dollar ebook is out now. Learn how to use that cover three cloud the best of your ability. But I really want to stop this tight flex in dollar. I don't want to have to go to 3-4 because I feel like a, a great player with this will really kill 3-4 out of it passing. So I want to get good at stopping the run out of dollar. That's how I, I st started at the beginning of this game as we hit a little dot over here to Beckham Jr. I talked about him and his route running just killed Darius Slay right there. Don't know if Tyreek Hill gets that done. Hit the ball underneath here to Torrey Holt. Hold RB to hold the ball. Make sure I don't fumble, man. I know you guys are fumbling, but there's ways to stop the fumbles. Hold RB, get down, play on conservative, get out of bounds, hold different ways, and just don't take these hits. Uh, the one thing about defense this year, you kind of got to fear the hitters. That's how you got to play offense. As we're moving the ball down really well right now, um, getting close to the two-minute where I'm just going to run this inside zone to Barkley as we take a big hit from Slay. That's the two-minute warning. want to try to run some clock right here as Barkley gets pounded again. 
Uh, my point guard did nothing on that play. Second and nine, looking for somebody who wants to take off with Mahomes, pick up a cool six yards, get a third and four. Nothing really open. Plays a little bit man coverage. Sends it. I take the sack there just to make him use his last timeout so he doesn't have much time. He gets the ball to have, so I have to make sure he doesn't get any points right here on this drive. And that starts with covering a kick. Stefan Gilmore does a great job of that. The 22-yard line. Here we go. Uh, like I said, we're going to try to play him in dollars, see what he has for me. Overthrows that one. He, too much pass lead on that one. That cover three cloud stops corner routes pretty well. That's what a lot of people ask me how to stop corner routes. Check out the cover three cloud ebook. It's amazing. Here he goes. Running his double crossing routes here. Hits Beckham underneath. That's a great dot by him. He's at about midfield. I know this dot is coming. I know he's going post right over the middle. I go and lurk it, and oh man, the pass lead. Then can Houston dumbs out. Pretty much gets him inside the five. I'm gonna call a timeout to preserve some time. Marcus Allen runs it in the next play. Jeez, I felt like I was gonna get a pick on that play. Can Houston could have broke it up, but somehow it led to him getting a touchdown. So uh, defensively, I feel like man, that was a fluky play. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna sweat over that play. Could have been an interception. Definitely should have been broken up. So I'm not gonna overreact on my defense. Have some time here. Hit the corner route over here. Marvin Harrison. That's why we have those route cams in the slot. That's why I use him in the slot. As you see my pure my uh, pass protectors doing work, but my center getting beat. I know you guys, your double teams are getting blurred. That's what's happening to me. Uh, but they're holding Bosa here now. Nothing really to go. Try to make a play with Mahomes. Throw it to Beckham. Gets hit. Drops it off. Knocks or drops it. Third and 13. Here we go. Trying to make a play. Going up top broken up man that's man he's all over me right now with this cover three really just trying to hit some big plays here and there go for this post route over the middle and Beckham in traffic can't come up with the catch for me uh that's a tough catch man if I would he would have made that I would have been surprised here he goes nothing for him to look for right here he has no timeouts that's going to end the half uh he gets one more playoff but nothing for him to do right here Try to get out of bounds, and somehow Harrison Smith gave that catch up for some reason. But that's the half, man. He gets the ball. I'm up, or he's up seven to three. Can't give up any big plays right here. I'm probably gonna go to three four. Really put some pressure on him, man. Shakobi is not a passer. He doesn't like the pressure, and Gilmore runs right by Marcus Allen there, man. Pissed me off because I just took out Ramsey for Stephon Gil Gilmore just to have the better man coverage, a little bit better speed, but never go against my gut. No matter what corners come out. Patrick Peterson and Jalen Ramsey will be my outside corners. I don't know who you guys are using in corner, but those guys ball for me. And right there, I made a mistake by taking out Ramsey. He will be back in next drive. So we're down 14 to 3, man. And if you guys are pay attention to competitive man at all, you know Shakobi is a folder. He will let you back in the game. He will throw you back into the game. He's not the best in the world at closing out games. So all I gotta do is go down here, make it a one possession game. I don't want to kick a field goal, but I will if I have to, because a one possession game will make him sweat, will make him nervous, will change the game as I hit this sideline pass. Don't get the feed in though. 12 for 17, over 100 yards for Patrick Mahomes. Getting some decent pass protection here in the second half. As I try to go up top for the bomb, but Mel Blunt does not go for it, and I break it up with Beckham. Did not work right there. Get to a fourth and six. We get great pass protection. Marcus Allen with a huge catch. Throwing a flat route on fourth and six. Takes some big nuts, but that's what was open on that play. As I dump it off here to Sherman, my backup fullback, because Marcus Allen was tired. Pick up that first down, though, man. Just keep moving the ball. I don't want. I want them to extend the game as much as possible. The more I extend the game, the more chances there are for him to lay down. And that's what I want to happen is Marcus Allen just throwing people, throwing people. That's why we use our running back at tight end. Making some plays. Got 15 completions. You know the game is going well when you got 15 completions. This will not be one of them as I throw the ball away. Got to Try to score before the fourth quarter, man. That's one of the goals here. Low ball, Marcus Allen doesn't come up with the catch. One of the downsides of playing Marcus Allen to tight end, he's not really beating man covers right now. Route running not that high. Forces me to settle for a field goal. Well, I talked about it, man. Obviously, you kind of want to push it right there, but that field goal makes me down eight. That makes it a one-possession game. That makes him afraid. And when they're afraid, they're going to make mistakes. So you got to take your field goal there. you got to put the pressure back on your opponent on offense. As we see, I got... Once you put Ramsey back in the game, it just solidifies your run defense. Goes again. Lawrence Taylor blows up the toss in the backfield. Get him to a third and long. What's he going to do when we send the crib? He's going to get sacked 
Fourth down, Ken Houston, pump my ball. Here we go, man. Like I said, you, that's why you kick your field goal, put a little pressure on him, and he doesn't like the pressure, as Pat Pete likes kick returns. But he does not take this one to the crib, as Lane Johnson, I was afraid of him, ran out of bounds, first and 10. Patrick Mahomes doesn't have escape artists, but he'll go up there and pick up eight yards rushing, something light. That's why I kind of want the escape artist dumping underneath here to Marcus Allen. Bang. Uh, we're inside the 30-yard line. Just trying to make some plays. Hug the pocket right there. Hit Saquon Barkley. Make a miss. Back to the middle. Now we want to kind of run some clock a little bit. But at the same time, man, I have to save some clock because I need a two-point conversion. And two-point conversions are hard and mad. And so for me, I got to prepare for not getting that two-point conversion. And Shakobi already wasted one timeout in this game, which, <laughs> which comes back, back to bite him in the ass later in the game. But this will take it to the two-minute warning. Actually, he uses his timeouts. He starts using his timeouts, which is already questionable because I need a two-point conversion. He's up eight points, man. He's probably going to get the ball back regardless. And then he uses a timeout with two minutes at the 201 mark. So he allows me to pass the ball, but I run the ball anyway. Get to a third and goal, and he screams at me. So after he blitzes, okay, now I get to a fourth and goal. I prepare for a blitz. Fourth and goal from the 12. I believe he brings six people, leaves this, and crossman somebody, leaves the slant wide open for me to hit. You talk about finding a way to fold a game as I don't get the two-point conversion. But I still have all three timeouts. Going to kick it deep right here because I'm going to get off the field. I'm going to stop him. I'm going to make him punt the ball. That's what's going to happen. And because he's going to punt from here, I'm already going to be in field goal range even if I don't have any timeouts as he falls down with Tyreek Hill. Got to stop the run. That's all this drive is about. I'm going to bring everybody in the box. We're going to play real physical football. So we're not going to run. If we get him to pass, he's going to lose the game. Simple as that. Got to stop the run. User and Mel Blunt, man. I have Von Miller. I have Lawrence Taylor on the outside. Got to make a play on the run here, man. That's what it's about. He's audible and around. Audibles to this bunch, man. You guys know you expect out a bunch. You expect toss. Expect toss. Move Von Miller out there so he sheds a little bit. Going to shoot to the right for toss. Runs a little inside zone, and Bobby Wags is not having any of it. Use my time out there. Try to get the ball back, man. If I can get the ball back, the game's over because he wasted all his timeouts for some odd reason earlier in the half. Right back, he's in that single back, single back tight flex. Just really want to stop the run. That's what it's about. He motions over. Tries to max protect. I cover everything. Two cloud flats. Cover the hitch myself, and we get home to the quarterback. Third and long. Jacoby's on the four-yard line right now. Now I know I'm getting the ball back. Now I have to stop the pass, but his back's up against the wall. I know I'm going to blitz him if I get a safety. Not only does that give me the ball back, it ties the game up. So as we see, we're going quarters. Quarter zones, we're sending absolutely everybody at him, and he gets scared, and he throws the ball up to Ken Houston. Bang, knocks it away. There's the boy Mel Blunt. Picks it off. We're already in field goal range. Just don't get hit sticked. Hold that RB. And because he wasted all his timeouts, all we have to do now is kneel it out and kick our field goal. If I'm up eight points, man, I'm really forcing my opponent to beat me. I'm not going to go ahead and waste my timeouts trying to get the ball back. For me, even if you not only do you fight, get a touchdown, you have to get the two-point conversion to take me in, at least take me into overtime. But because he used his timeouts, man, really gave him no chance in the end. Uh, and I use my timeouts well. If I have three timeouts in a game, I'm always going to kick the ball deep because if I get it back, I'll have the ball right there, almost in field goal range. Like I said, man, when you have when you have the, the, the just the history of folding a game, when you have the history of folding games, man, it always weighs on you. You always think about it all the time, and it comes back to bite Jacoby in the butt right here. Never stop fighting, and if you're down two possessions, man, Make sure you guys kick those field goals to get make it a one possession game. It's always harder to play offense when you are down one or when you're only down one possession. If you're if you're down a bunch of possessions, your opponent has no pressure on offense. So keep the pressure on your opponent on offense is a lot easier. And this just I just showed how um, inside the ten, you know, this was third down. This was a great little sneaky blitz. Didn't expect him to blitz, but he came off that edge. Uh, got to my quarterback, got me to a fourth and long. So if I get you to a fourth and goal on the 12, for me, I ain't going to play coverage, especially after I blitz, but he did not decide to play coverage. He pretty much ran the same janky blitz that I was prepared for the next play, and I was able to dot him with that slant route to Torrey Holt. So for me, man, it's hard to pass inside that 10. So if you sneak in a blitz and you get a sack, man, next play, just play coverage, make them dot. He came with the same blitz. 
even cross man the person so there was nobody in the end zone to really stop that slant as you see here this was fourth down fourth and goal from the 12 i'm definitely playing coverage uh he like i said i i put the slant out there i said i'm gonna go to slant or the post really and like i said he wasted his zone by cross manning if that's a deep blue uh maybe he covers something but he just runs to the wrong receiver and the middle of the field is just wide open so hit the like button subscribe that's how we won that game and let me know where i could upgrade my team